hundreds arrested as protesters march onto I-94 opposition to Trump's presidency, racism, police violence among protesters' passions. Hundreds of protesters were arrested Wednesday night shortly after they marched onto Interstate 94 in Minneapolis, protesting among other things Donald Trump's presidency and his threat to challenge Tuesday's unsettled election results. The march, which began at Cedar and Riverside Avenues and looped through downtown, was organized by Twin Cities for Justice for Jamar in coordination with the National Alliance Against Racist and Political Regression. That group soon merged with a second protest endorsed by 30 organizations whose agendas ranged from anti-police fervor to calling for action on climate change. Organizers said the event had been planned even before Tuesday's presidential election, whose outcome remained uncertain late Wednesday, as absentee ballots were still being counted in several states. About 7.45 p.m., protesters marched onto Interstate 94 from Cedar Avenue, Minneapolis police said in a tweet. Officers motorists to avoid the area. Traffic was backed up and stalled in both directions. Minneapolis police and state patrol troopers surrounded and arrested protesters on the freeway on suspicion of trespassing and unlawful assembly. They were ordered to sit peacefully on the pavement and await arrest processing. Those being arrested included well known activists Nakima Levy Pounds, Monique Colors Doty, and Noah McCourt. Several news reporters and photographers were also among those awaiting processing by law enforcement. Troopers and police were making exceptions for several people, including parents with children, some of whom they allowed to walk away before being processed for arrest. No injuries were reported. We have a racist in office. Which side are you on? Levy Pounds said to the crowd in the protest that preceded the walk onto the freeway. Do you stand on the side of oppression or the side of justice? I'm tired of relatives of people killed by 